balancing all that is set in motion. It is in this place that I wish to dance with you, to simply point the way that is this other place of greater consciousness that exists. It exists within the soul's journey towards self-realization. In this journey that leads to that place, every human being recognizes that, being the physical worlds for many lifetimes, they have generated negative and positive energies, and set into motion those things that have sometimes taken themselves lifetimes to correct. In the Eastern philosophies, we sometimes call this the creation of karma. But I wish to take the mystique out of this world and simply approach this from a point of view of reminding you that you are a creative being. Through the use of mind and heart, you would either set up those energies, have them moving into your world that are fulfilling and liberating, that speak of love and freedom, or through your thoughts and actions, you would set up those energies that are negative, that are limiting and must be corrective. So there are two things. To recall those energies back into your own self as a creator responsible for self creation. And to, to clear those energies where you do not feel at all lovable or worthy of being here in the physical, in this life. For life in the great universal storehouse of universal laws, commands, and demands does every being, every individualized intelligent being, must balance the great wills of life, all that is set in motion. As the Sagram says, a creator is responsible for his or her creation as long as that creation exists, and all that you create comes back to you returns to you. That is the great law. One of the great, greatest gifts that you have to do this is to call upon the law of forgiveness, the law of mercy that triumphs all the other laws, which is another. The lower laws is what comes around goes around. You reap what you sow. That is one of them, but the law of forgiveness removes that. To offer forgiveness, as a creative being, the universe has much energy out there that belongs to you. That is of your creation. The sooner you assume a mastery in your life, recognize that there is energy in the world, some of which is constructive and some of which is not constructive. Realize that you have the power and ability to manipulate energy, including the call back of energy to you. As it is wise, once a week, sit yourself down. Sit down and speak out and say, I call back to me all energy that I have ever put out through thought, spoken words, actions, or feelings that is not constructive. I call that energy back into my heart, where my heart presence can transform or transmute that energy so that I can reuse it, reuse it. Send it out once more as constructively energy. Get into the good habit once a week. So do you not have energy that is out in the world working against you, sabotaging you, harming you, and those you love? Regardless of what has been, you can change everything. So from that place in which is the human form emil emoting a radiation, a qualified field of energy that is the byproduct of the totality of your human consciousness in any moment, includes the historical past of the child and the adolescence, the early adult phases of your life. To be aware as you show up, use your mind and heart creatively. Those things that can be yet obstacles is are this the obstacle to successful manifestation and the creative process is the experiences, the feelings that is you as a child, you as an adolescent are yet holding within yourself. 
in the process of remembering that you are always in charge, as a creative being, it is given unto you to change your mind, to change how you feel, to speak to everything that has been collected and recorded within yourself. See this a fundamental truth within you, regardless of what has been. In this present moment, you remain in charge. You can change everything. It is your right as co-creator of the co-creative process with the creator. You accept yourself as sovereign being. Accept the mind and the heart as a creative process with which you build, create, and design. In so doing, you can move into that place of changing your mind, and you can actually speak to all that has been. And all that has been is yet part of the consciousness that you are building upon. Consciousness includes you as a youth, as a child, as an adolescent, as an adult, as an elder, wise woman or man. As having born into this world, having chosen your parents for reasons and families and friends, and I may not have been at this time evident to you, you simply say at this point that you know why you choose your parents, why you choose your life, and the, the position and the path that you. Have chosen to come at this point right now to come this to this realization. Before coming to this world, you evaluate what need to be balanced in your life from energies put forth in the past lives. You knew what your soul needed as an experience, and in making that decision for your life, you enter this embodiment and set goals for yourself and aspirations. And so it is. You are creator of your life, and behind those experiences is the reflective state of the human evolution. Some negative, some positive, some experiences of love, or some experiences that speak an absence of love. But before you came to Earth, you knew about the greater plans for humankind, and so you volunteered. And here you are, and the world is growing and coming to that place of more light and greater light. And you knew, and you knew all this as an opportunity to evolve, to opportunity to fully awaken, to know yourself, to know others as yourself, your place in life, your relationship to life, the opportunity to know and understand the nature and personal planetary realities, cosmos, universal realities.